this week Intel overclocking without multipliers. Also, AMD readies a 4GB Radeon R9 390, AMD releases GPU, Open, and more. I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News. In an attempt to better compete with the GTX 970, AMD has been getting its partners to release new 4GB versions of the R9 390. The new variant would feature 4GB of 512-bit GDDR5. This would allow AMD and third-party manufacturers to save money on each card. The 390 currently sells for 309 USD, which is not too bad a price, and the reduction will hopefully bring the card down 30 to 40 bucks to a nice 260, 265. 259.99 would be great. This reduction in memory, however, would make the 390 just a overclocked rebrand of the previous generation's R9 290, with clock speeds being 10% faster, with proportional performance increase naturally, so a solid performer at a pretty nice price. Not bad. With Nvidia's GameWorks API having had nearly two years to pick up steam, and with a handful of big titles being developed with its effects in mind, like Fallout 4, Just Cause 3, and the... <clears throat> Oh so well received Batman Arkham Knight, AMD eventually had to introduce a software development kit to counter it. AMD's new GPU Open, open meaning open source, GPU Open gives developers unprecedented control over the GPU, with a nice big kit of ready to go visual effects, tools, libraries, and SDKs. As AMD has 100% market share of the game console market, with only 20% of PC graphics, the company likely hopes widespread adoption of GPU Open will reduce incentive to purchase NVIDIA graphics, as less games may be tailored specifically for those GPUs. And GPU Open may make porting console games to PC easier for developers than with NVIDIA GameWorks, AMD having the advantage of having developed today's console's graphics chips in the first place. I really hope this gives AMD a leg up in the desktop graphics market. It's painfully obvious that AMD hasn't really been doing all that great lately, and you know I've mentioned that in several videos at this point. They could use every little boost they get. If you're in the market for a budget-minded hexacore, AMD just introduced its new FX6330, an AM3 Plus 32 nanometer chip based on Vichera silicon. The chip will be clocked at 3.6 gigahertz with a turbo core frequency of 4.2, which sounds impressive at least. The chip has 6 megabytes of L2 cache, 8 megabytes of L3, a TDP of 95 watts and should be priced at 109 American dollars. Likely a replacement of the previous FX6300. This is very much a budget-minded CPU. A great value for the money for sure, but it's not something groundbreaking or anything. It's just a cheap Hexacore option that OCs, well, does halfway decent in games and applications. So chuck that crap into your home theater PC and... watch movies. Budget-minded overclocking is coming back to the Intel camp. With the advent of Core i number series processors back in 2008, which is, now that I think about it, a scary long time ago, Intel integrated Core Logic, also called a Northbridge, with their CPUs, which caused issues with stability when adjusting the base clock using BCLK. Now with Skylake CPUs, you aren't limited to purchasing a K CPU to overclock it. You can buy a dinky little Core i3-6320 and overclock it to hell, or whatever your cooling system gets you to. An overclocker in the Philippines, going by Jin Jin, did just that, taking the chip to 5GHz on a Super Micro C7H170M motherboard. ASRock? 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 Whatever. Was quick to announce that their Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard will be able to support a Core i5-6600 at 4.5 GHz using an experimental BIOS they hope to release soon. It's interesting Intel let this just kind of stay under the radar up until now. I mean, at least I haven't heard about it. I guess they just want you to shut up and dish out for an i5 or i7K CPU. I mean, why would they want you to spend less? Friggin' 300 bucks. Whoa. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. Also, make sure to check out our website and you'll find lots of great articles on stuff I talked about in today and other stuff, like Apple names Jeff Williams Chief Operating Officer, Sapphire introduces Radeon R9 Fury Nitro Graphics Card, 3D Mark Time Spy Benchmark 5 times heavier on your GPU than Firestrike, and more. I understand that with just a few minutes of news, you won't get all the info that you need, or you friggin' might have a question.
Why don't you head on over to our forums and ask us that question? There's plenty of helpful people around to give you a hand. Did you watch this video and think, hey, I wanted gaming news? If I got the channel for you, check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They've got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Glicky clicky.